good morning everybody it's me again crazy bag lady so i hope you're well i'm just in the middle of doing my makeup so i've put my serum on our magic ingredients that keeps you young um i've put on some avon serum foundation and i've mixed it with some lisa armstrong foundation um just because i'm not sure if this color is a bit light for me at the minute so i've added a bit of color into it but this serum foundation is so good it's on offer for seven pound fifty it's such a bargain for foundation you can pay an absolute fortune for foundation as we all know seven pound fifty you won't go wrong mascara seven pound you won't go wrong and 18 pound for your skin you won't go wrong anyway so let's have a look at today's calendar so yesterday's was we didn't do yesterday's loving hands at home so i'm glad yesterday was over i don't like friday the 13th um and obviously when he ended up at the vet so we did have a bit of a drama so today ta -da! what does it say Heal the past, live the present, dream the future. Oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? Has that little boy got bubble gum on his face or is it a saucer? <laughs> I think it's bubble gum. So anyway, I'm halfway through doing my makeup, but Winnie's, <laughs> Ruby's just shouted at me and said Winnie's asleep. So if Winnie's asleep, that means we can get a first lot of drops in. So we've got to do drops three times a day and then some cream in her eye at night time. So that's four times a day we've got to look after Winnie. What a morning it's been. Um, yeah, what a morning already. Um, Dolly went outside, dug all the garden up, got absolutely black. We've had to bath there. Honestly, it's only about quarter to nine. It's already been one of those mornings. Oh. <laughs> anyway, right, let's go and do Winnie's drops. Well done, Winnie Fred. Well done. Winnie. 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 Well done. Good girl. Drops all done, part one. Gosh, it's so peaceful outside at the minute before everybody starts banging around, knocking and dogs barking and everything else. But at the minute, it's so peaceful. So this morning I have to chuck my clothes on that I had on yesterday because I'm trying to get back out in the garden. Obviously I've got to wash Ruby's bed. I've already hung some of it out. It's a couple more sheets and stuff I've got to hang out. Ruby's going off to a friend's. My hubby's gone off to work. James has gone off to work. I need to have a breakfast. And it's already half past nine. I want to get outside before it gets too hot. And bubble cam is on. So look at the little mouse. Did you see them? Oh, it's so cute. Can't believe this is going off in our garden. We're so lucky. Right, breakfast. So for breakfast this morning, we've got bran plates and chopped banana. Me and Dolly have had a serious talk about digging. I've told her she's not allowed to dig in my garden. If you dig in my garden, you'll be going. We'll find you a new home. You can go to one of my subscribers <laughs> who doesn't mind digging in their garden. Oh, I really can't cope with that. Any tips how to stop a digging? It's not something I really want to encourage at all because my garden's not very big, so I really don't want holes all over it. And obviously, when she came in, she was absolutely black. I've had to bath her this morning. Her feet and her tummy were absolutely black. She'd had the time of her life, which is fair enough. But I don't want holes in my garden. Please don't dig. I've told you all about digging. We don't dig, do we? No, we don't dig. <laughs> right, boring job. So we've just got a little bit of washing up to do. And then I'm trying to think what else I've got to do. I've got to do Ruby's hair, brush my teeth. And possibly we might get outside. So she's gone outside. I'm so worried about letting her outside now. I can't cope with all the mud and the mess. Oh, please don't let her dig. <sighs> right, it's gonna be one of those days today where I don't get to go outside or by the time I do it'll be too hot. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to shop to get my neighbour's paper. Um, what else have I got to do? What have I got to do? I've got to get my paper, what else? I don't know. Lottery. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm having one of them days today. Right, I've got to get the lottery, the paper, uh, drop an Avon book off. I'm taking two little dogs with me because they told us we can't take Winnie outside in the sunshine because of her eye. Uh, so I've just taking two. Yeah, I'm coming. Ruby's going out with a friend. Let's go. Oh, oh, I can't stop laughing at Dolly. It's an absolute nutter. <laughs> it won't walk in a straight line. It keeps trying to attack Florence. It's just a complete and utter nutter today. It's just a woman on a mission. So we're now waiting for Ruby outside the shop. She'll not be a minute, will she? And then she'll look after you while I fetch the lottery. Oh, 
No, it would be nice. No. You were being really nice now, don't be horrible. All oh, right, I've made it back. So, fourth cup of tea of the day, I think. Fourth or fifth, I made this before I left, so it's just ready to drink when I got home. So, Ruby's gone for the little friend. I've brought my dogs home because I now need to go and take my neighbour's paper. I didn't dare take my dogs with me to my neighbour's because she did tell me the other day she put a load of weed killer down and obviously worry about your little dogs. So I brought the dogs home, now I need to go back to my neighbour's, drop the paper off. It's 11 o'clock and then I'm going outside once I've hung some more washing out. <laughs> and I'm, I don't want to see anyone speak to anyone or do anything. just want to put my plants in. You can't believe I've been trying to do this since about two o'clock yesterday, can you? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Right, cheers everybody. Let's go deliver that paper. Right, finally, we finally made it outside. Okay, so we need to get some little plants put in and fill this little flower bed up. So I'm thinking something like that. So I've got my little bowls in, I've got to shape that one. Um, I thought the lavender can go in between and then the van vanilla stuff at the back. I think that might be quite nice. inside oh, so hot i've still got jobs i want to do outside but obviously it's quite hot so i've come in for my dinner well i've come in to get my washing to hang out then i'm going to have my dinner and then we'll go back outside again so it's just nice to potter um i think it started to look nice and i told you this year i'm making it like a smelly garden so lots of lavender and those little vanilla things and when you walk outside it's going to smell beautiful i like to try different things each year so this year we're having a smelly garden <laughs> Right, next job, Winnie's eye again. So we'll do it dinner time-ish, then we'll have to do it at tea time, and then we've got to do the other stuff at bedtime. So let's get some little bit of sausage ready as a treat and let's get them drops in. Oh, next job, hold on. Good girl, we'll get that pie better, won't we? Hey, like a bit of sausage. It's a nice little treat, isn't it? Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Let's keep you in here, and where it's nice and shady. Yeah, you sit here and rest your little eye. Mm. I'll get you better, I promise. Right, there's my dinner. So if I didn't say, I've got mackerel in olive oil. I think my joints could do with oil in. Um, some seafood steaks, little tomatoes, four little cracker things, and a cup of coffee in my lovely shaped cup and saucer that was from Tesco. Off to enjoy my dinner. It's puppy cuddles again. <laughs> Are you chewing your own foot? <laughs> Look at her feet. Her feet shouldn't even be on my table. <laughs> Are you comfy? Hey, look at your little feet. <laughs> yeah, you are funny, aren't you? Hey, look at all your fur. You're like a crazy cushion, aren't you? Look, look at your fur. No, don't touch my coffee. <laughs> I'm not sharing my coffee with you. No, I'm not. I'm not sharing my coffee with you. No. <laughs> right, back outside. Next job, I want to empty that pot. It's probably pot bound. The fern's been in there years. I want to take it out and put a lavender in it. It's easier said than done. <laughs> well, half an hour later, it's still stuck. I cannot get this plant out of the pot. It's completely and utterly pot bound and almost glued itself to the pot. I can't get it out. It's causing me so much stress. There's not many things I admit defeat on, but the plant pot's worn. I've tried everything and I cannot get it out. So I'm gonna wait for my husband to get home, see if he can get it out. I think we need a bit of man force and I just haven't got the strength. Right, next job, trim the balls. So as you can see, they're all a bit overgrown. They're really tiny. I'm just gonna do it with scissors. Oh, 
It's always special when the feather drops near you. I'm a very hot, dirty woman. <laughs> so it's now ten past three. The kettle's on. I'm gonna make myself drink, sit on my swinging chair, and just have a minute. I really need a piece of chocolate or something, but we'll see what we can find. Ooh, so there's my coffee. I've got a Danone yogurt and a piece of melon. So often join that coffee break. Well, I think I've done everything I wanted to do. Um, so I've got a couple more projects I want to do over the summer and stuff. I want to sort this corner out. It's a little junk corner, so I'm not sure what I'm doing with all these pots and stuff, but that's my junk corner. I've got to sort that out. But everywhere, pretty much everywhere else, not too bad. I need to clean that out. But it's been a successful day. I need to water it all as well. Put all the new bits I've put in. Right, I'm back inside. So I've got to make Ruby's bed. So obviously I've got to put all the sheets and stuff on Ruby's bed, which is a killer when it's so hot. We were supposed to be having curry for tea, but now I'm thinking, I don't think I really want curry because it's so hot, but it's gonna be cold and raining all next week. So I think I'm gonna swap my meals around a bit and not have curry tonight. We can have curry another night when it's cold because it'd be nice to warm us up. So I don't know what I'm gonna have for tea. We'll find something. Oh, I've come to see how the patient is. How are you doing, baby? How are you doing? You're doing the best thing by staying in here, isn't it? But it's not as bright. That's what Mrs. Bet said, didn't she? You've got to keep out the sunshine. Hey. Please get better. We don't want you to be a one-eyed willy, do we? Hey. And Florence thinks if she sits still, nobody will see that she's on the sofa. She's not allowed on the sofa. She knows she's not allowed on the sofa. Right, next job. 
tackle the bed. <laughs> Let's see how fast we can do this. Ah, another job done. Oh, to be like a little teenager and have a fun bedroom. Isn't it cute? So, bed all done. So for tea tonight, we're making, or I'm making this. Um, so like I said, we should have been having curry, but we've kind of, we felt too hot for curry. So we're having this. Um, some chicken nuggets and a little bit of garlic bread. So it's not quite slimming, but it's not mega fattening. So yeah, just gotta cook it now. So my hubby's mowing the grass while I'm doing tea. Little does he know he's gotta tackle the pot, the naughty pot that we can't empty. So it's taken two of us to get that out of there. It was completely and utterly pot bound and it's absolutely solid. Look, you can't believe it. Rock hard and stuck. Ah, oh, nothing like sunshine to show you where you've missed when you're dusting. There's a great big cobweb hanging down here. I can't really show you on the camera, it's not showing up. Look at my phone, my phone is reflecting on all the wall. Look, that's my sparkly phone case. Can you see the cobweb? Look, <laughs> thought I'd share that with you in case you like me and don't really like dusting that much. So these naughty cobwebs do appear. <sighs> Tea's nearly ready. I'm trying to keep the sun out of Winifred's eye and to keep sitting in the sun. It's so difficult. Oh, Winifred, you need to move as soon as I move. The sun's on a lock. I'm just stood here trying to block it out. You need to go back in the room, out the way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So the orange pasta one is normally my favourite, but I'm quite excited to try this for a change. So I'll let you know what it's like after. Ooh, the tea was delicious, but I have to say I prefer the orange pasta to the white one. So the orange one is definitely more tasty. So next job, I've got to walk the garden. I really don't want to do this, but I've got to. So let's get the hose by now. And then we came inside. Oh, look at this. This is just what you need for your aching bones. Oh, it's going to smell absolutely beautiful. So this is Avon scented Lavender Calm Bubble Bath. So this is a new one. I cannot wait to try it. it. Smells absolutely adorable. And then also, I'm going to put in, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, um, Planet Spa Sleep Ritual with lavender as well. So you literally just sprinkle these little capsule things in. They don't make bubbles, but they do smell absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's just so nice. And A1 bubble bath is literally about two pounds. It makes the biggest bubbles you can ever imagine. It is my favorite. I've used it for a long, long, long time, even before I had my little own Avon shop. Absolutely wonderful. And it just smells so nice and you know, when you've been in the garden all day and you're all dirty and mucky and you just need a really lovely bubble bath. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> I've managed to get this open now. So let's sprinkle some in. Oh, lovely. Look at the colour. Fabulous. And I'm going to get out. I'm going to leather myself in this. I cannot tell you how soft this makes your skin. It's just absolutely amazing. It's one of the cheapest moisturisers they do, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. It makes your skin like velvet and it lasts for quite a few days as well. Absolutely wonderful. Ooh, it's coming along nicely. Look at that. So just think you can more or less have like a spa evening. So you could have the lavender bubble bath, the lavender scented droplets, the moisturiser and it costs you all under £10. And obviously you get loads so you could have a spa night every night for a month. It would be absolutely wonderful. Right, my dears, I'm going to love you leave you because I'm going in. I'm covered in like soil, my face is absolutely filthy. So many, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously it's been a day of gardening and 
I just want to say thank you to everyone that said my garden is nice because my husband and my children really don't appreciate it and they're really not bothered and they don't like gardening at all so it wouldn't matter what I do, they don't really bother, they just go oh yeah it's alright, even though they don't realise how much hard work goes into it. So many many thanks for joining me and appreciating my little garden. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life then please subscribe to my channel, come and find me on Instagram as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got their own Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below. My Avon shop is down below. If you spend, I think it's £23 now because the price of fuel is put delivery up. If you spend £23, you get free delivery to your door. I think if not, it's about £3. It's not much at all. So it is. I will love you and leave you. I will see you tomorrow. We're going to watch Eurovision Song Contest tonight. And Britain's Got Talent after my bath. See you tomorrow. Bye!